Hello everyone, welcome to our kitchen. Are we taping? Yeah, we are. So today we uh, say how's it? How's it everybody? Roger Glover in the house. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. So Roger and I are going to be uh, cooking um, some crab today. So we got these bad boys all cleaned, which got the clippers because they're a bit hard to eat. Uh, got the legs. We got the oil on the go, and uh, I don't know if you can hear that. I'll put it down there. Maybe you could hear the oil singing for a little bit. So crab is a two-stage process. Okay. The first thing we got to do is fry off these crabs. But before we do that, we're going to put in two teaspoons of uh, just normal crushed garlic. Followed in with about half a cup of butter. If you have garlic butter, that can also work. If you do it this way, then you control the amount of garlic flavor that you have. Okay. And that all works. And, uh, and yeah, here we are. Roger, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a sous chef. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, yeah, wannabe, Rogers, a wannabe uh, sous chef. A wannabe sous chef. So, uh, Roger's an attorney by profession and um, is uh, not only my business partner but also my big brother. So, to that, we're gonna have. Oh no, what is. Oh wow, look what I found. <laughs> oh wow. What is this? This is our sponsors, Glover Kanyapin. That's us. And yeah. we got our mask and we're not social distancing like we should to because we form part of the same bubble but anyway we're gonna put in about a teaspoon of parsley see that's how the professionals do it and what you don't want is for the garlic to start burning so as soon as that's done we're just gonna fry off the crab Nurse the crab, make sure that you coat it generously with all of that oil and garlic and butter and all that goodness and wait for your crab to turn a bit pink and we'll see you just now. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes, we're just going to check in on the crab. That's a beautiful color, that's the color you're looking for. Hallelujah, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Okay. So we're using a slotted spoon because we want to keep all of that goodness in there. So Roger's just going to empty it out into that little container. There we go. Okay, so all the curves out. But we still got the oil on the go, so we're not going to lose any of that goodness that's stuck at the bottom. And oil. We've taken out um, a couple of other things. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. Everything's nice and translucent. You can see the onions are sweated down nicely. We move on to our masala. So we're going to be using three different types of chili powder, but you can get to your local store. Just ask them for hot or extra hot, exactly how you want it. Like we mentioned um, not too long ago, this is going to be a ass burner curry. So we're going to be going good. Uh, we've got wet leaf masala, um, crushed chilies. This is what they call rombo rossi. If you can find it, good luck. And this is Kashmiri. So any of these you would find at any supermarket. Just ask them for it. And we're just going to be adding two teaspoons of each. So while Roger's doing that, we're just gonna get some uh, ginger and garlic paste, about three teaspoons, and we're just gonna put that in there as well. Gives it a nice flavor, gets rid of that uh, really seafood taste that obviously accompanies seafood. So almost done.
Just gonna give that a bit of a stir. And that's the color that you want. You're gonna let that uh, masala's roast out just about five minutes. Make sure you don't burn them um, because you don't want a bitter taste. You just want the heat and whatever flavor that you get in. And as you can see, the bottom of that pot is looking a bit cleaner. And that's because of the water from the onions. We thought we'd just have that uh, pause for dramatic silence. <laughs> so, as you can see, there's no smoke coming through. There, here we go. Now we've got about six tomatoes that we've grated earlier. We're just going to put that in. Give it a bit of a stir, forget about it for about 15 minutes, and we'll see you guys now. So we're just mixing up the tomatoes, allowing that just to boil. So the thing is that they say we should put uh, lemon juice, especially when you're cooking seafood, and you're going to put about a tablespoon or so. So Rog, honestly, I don't know what the issue about uh, the lemon juice is, but I know it if you don't put it, there's a problem. Okay, so, no, cool, cool. Just put it. Yeah. So because we've got so much of tomato in here, um, the lemon juice obviously helps with the seafood and breaking it down. Breaks down the proteins better than anything else. But we also put in just about half a teaspoon of sugar uh, in the tomato. So you just have, you don't, you don't have that cut and that bitterness. So these are little, you know, hints that you have while you're making these sort of curries. This will be a good time to put the salt and we're putting in about two tablespoons um, of salt. There we go. And then maybe a pinch more for good luck. If you guys work the way we do during the week and on the weekends, nothing's better than this on a Sunday afternoon. So all that water is coming up from the tomato and it's reducing nicely and this will be a great time to add in your crab toss it in one shot and here we go give it a bit of a mix make sure you coat it with uh, all of that curry paste Your crab has been mixed through nicely. You can see it's all evenly coated with um, that curry paste and it's just now coming up to the boil again and it's going to cook like that for about another 20 to 30 minutes until all of that water is reduced. Now the thing about crab curry that makes it really really special is similar to how one would cook um, a South Indian fish curry and it's this little thing. It's called tamarind. Now, some people call it tamarind, puli, um, Hali calls it something, but that's because she's Urdu speaking, but we won't hold that against her. And that's what it looks like. And you break a few pieces and you put it into some water and you allow that to soak. And then you basically just strain all of those seeds out, just like that. And make sure it's all nicely soaked. So you're looking for about three tablespoons for this amount of crab of tamarind in half a cup of water and just put that in there. And like they say in the movies, that's all folks, we'll be back. It's been about 25 minutes. That's what your curry should be looking like. So the test obviously is to check the oil coming up and that's what you have here. If you're having crab, you shouldn't worry about cholesterol. Just put the oil, make sure that all the flavors fuse nicely. And some of us in the house don't eat crab, only God knows why. So they're having broccoli shake. <laughs> so what you got there, Raj? Uh, coriander. Coriander, about a, um, yeah, about so much, whatever that is. <laughs> a, hand, <laughs> a handful maybe, yeah. Coriander, also known as uh, dania. And just gonna let that sit in there. Give your curry about 10 minutes more. Check it out and we'll see you soon. It's been about 10 minutes. 
and we're just gonna check in on this curry everything uh, going according to plan this curry should be all done by now Ta -da, ta -da! This is a South Indian crab curry with the ass burn flavor. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and we're done. Thank you, Raj, for you. coming around and helping with the cooking of this curry. Really appreciate it. Uh, dude, thank you. Thank you, my friend. I know I was uh, very much just a sous chef, but um, <laughs> you got to start somewhere. You take it. You got to start somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers guys! Cheers. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. We're just gonna check in on the crab. That's a beautiful color. That's the color you're looking for. Hallelujah! Say hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> okay, so we're using a slotted spoon because we want to keep all of that goodness in there. So Dodge is just gonna empty it out into that little container. There we go. Okay, so all the crabs out, but we still got the oil on the go, so we're not gonna lose any of that goodness that's stuck at the bottom. And all. we've taken out um, a couple of other things. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. Everything's nice and translucent. You can see the onions are sweated down nicely. We move on to our masala. So we're gonna be using three different types of chili powder, but you can get to your local store, just ask them for hot or extra hot, exactly how you want it. Like we mentioned um, not too long ago, this is going to be a ass burner curry, so we're going to be going good. Uh, we've got wet leaf masala, um, crushed chilies, this is what they call rombo rossi, if you can find it, good luck. And this is Kashmiri, so any of these you would find at any supermarket, just ask them for it. And we're just going to be adding two teaspoons of each. So while Roger's doing that, we're just going to get some uh, ginger and garlic paste, about three teaspoons, and we're just going to put that in there as well. Gives it a nice flavor, gets rid of that uh, really sweet food taste that obviously a cup of seafood. So, almost done. Just gonna give that a bit of a stir. And that's the color that you want. We're gonna let that uh, masala's roast out just about five minutes. Make sure you don't burn them um, because you don't want a bitter taste. You just want the heat whatever flavor that you get in and as you can see the bottom of that pot is looking a bit cleaner and that's because of the water from the onions we thought we'd just have that uh, pause for dramatic silence <laughs> so as you can see there's no smoke coming through there here we go now we've got about six tomatoes that we've grated earlier. We're just going to put that in. Give it a bit of a stir. Forget about it for about 15 minutes. And we'll see you guys now. So we're just mixing up the tomatoes. Allowing that just to boil. So the thing is that they say we should put uh, lemon juice, especially when you're cooking seafood. And you're going to put about a tablespoon or so. So, Rog, honestly, I don't know what the issue about uh, the lemon juice is, but I know it, if you don't put it, there's a problem. Okay, so no, cool, cool. Just put it. Yeah. So, because we've got so much of tomato in here, um, the lemon juice obviously helps with the seafood and breaking it down. Breaks down the proteins better than anything else. But we also put in just about half a teaspoon of sugar uh, in the tomato, so... You just have, you don't, you don't have that cut and that bitterness. So these are little, you know, hints that you have while you're making these sort of curries. Salt. This would be a good time to put the salt. And we're putting in about two tablespoons um, of salt. 
There we go. And then maybe a pinch more for good luck. If you guys work the way we do during the week and on the weekends, nothing's better than this on a Sunday afternoon. So all that water is coming up from the tomato and it's reducing nicely and this will be a great time to add in your crab. Toss it in one shot. And here we go. Give it a bit of a mix. Make sure you coat it with the uh, all of that curry paste. Your crab has been mixed through nicely. You can see it's all evenly coated with um, that curry paste and it's just now coming up to the boil again and it's going to cook like that for about another 20 to 30 minutes until all of that water is reduced. Now the thing about crab curry that makes it really really special is similar to how one would cook um, a South Indian fish curry and it's this little thing it's called tamarind now some people call it tamarind puli um, Hali calls it something but that's because she's Urdu speaking but we won't hold that against her and that's what it looks like and you break a few pieces and you put it into some water and you allow that to soak and then you basically just strain all of those seeds out, just like that. And make sure it's all nicely soaked. So you're looking for about three tablespoons for this amount of crab of tamarind in half a cup of water and just put that in there. And like they say in the movies, that's all folks, we'll be back. It's been about 25 minutes. That's what your curry should be looking like. So the test obviously is to check the oil coming up and that's what you have here. If you're having crab, you shouldn't worry about cholesterol. Just put the oil, make sure that all the flavors fuse nicely. And some of us in the house don't eat crab, only God knows why. So they're having broccoli shake. <laughs> so what you got there, Raj? Uh, coriander. Coriander, about, um, yeah, about so much, whatever that is. A, hand, a handful, <laughs> maybe, yeah. Coriander, also known as uh, dania. And just going to let that sit in there. Give your curry about 10 minutes more. Check it out and we'll see you soon. It's been about 10 minutes and we're just going to check in on this curry. Everything uh, going according to plan. This curry should be all done by now. Ta -da, ta -da! This is a South Indian crab curry with the ass burn flavor. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and we're done. Thank you, Raj, for thank coming you. around and helping with the cooking of this curry. Really appreciate it. Uh, dude, thank you. Thank you, my friend. I know I was uh, very much just a sous chef, but um, you got to start somewhere. You take it. you got to start somewhere. <laughs> Cheers guys!